Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the Ramatol Panzer Wagon again. And if you haven't guessed by the title, as always, this is the third mark of excellence video for the tank. Now with True Vision, doing this third mark of excellence was just I don't, I don't know, it's sort of other any way other to explain it other than saying that it was just incredibly easy. Like this tank frustrates me a little bit because obviously it's got the best gun handling at tier 10 out of the light tanks but there's a lot of times where the gun just goes yeah that shot you wanted to hit no not today sir so I've struggled with it a little bit obviously I think when I started this grind I was at 86% and I have had a frustrating run where I couldn't really get the tank to work wasn't really getting much spotting, wasn't getting the gun to be able to work to like do enough damage really and then we've got this true vision where I can pretty much see everywhere the enemy team is can tailor my, my rotations to it can push spotting up but for the most part I can just sit like 600 meters away and not even that I can sit like 300 meters away from people fire never get spotted laugh you know like it, it's quite cra crazy really to be honest and that's why I just did this tank during this because it was like, oh, this is just easy. <laughs> I want to get it, get get it done, get it out of the way, you know. Because that means with doing this one, so far I'll have three marked all the light tanks that I've got unlocked, which is this Tusk thirteen one oh five Sheridan. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I might be forgetting one there. But yeah, so. That means I'll have all the tier 10 lights that I've got unlocked done because I've, I've still got to have the T100 LT Manticore and the WZ1321. And it was just like, it was nice to have it done and just have it sort of out of my mind that I've done it, you know. And plus I enjoy it, so the more time that I spent frustrated, the fact that I couldn't quite get the tank to work properly to get the games I needed to push up, it meant that I just wasn't bothered about playing the tank because it was like, well, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Because I'll just have a bad game or it won't, it won't work and then I'll end up dropping again. So that's why I did it because it was like, ah, now I can just play the tank and then, you know, enjoy playing the light tank rather than worrying about the mark of excellence on it. But, yeah, I mean, I realised, I think I played one or two games in it on the Friday and it was like, actually, this is, this is ridiculously easy to be able to push marks up. I'm just going to go for it, I think, this weekend and that's what I've done pushed it up, took me like 15, 20 games, easy. So we've loaded HEP, that's the one thing I love about this tank, and that's the HEP rounds, pending 384 on that Gorilla, risky to push up there because he could have shot me quite easily, but unfortunately we hit his gun, and didn't pen it, so we only hit him for like 180 something, which is still quite a bit, but yeah. I mean, we are playing risky business with this Gorilla, I'm just tempting his reload. But we get his spot in as well as the damage on him. And we're going to turn around and look at these guys because these guys are flanking behind us. And the position we've taken is kind of dangerous because if they got behind to like, you know, H6, then they can shoot me in the butt quite easily and then that's dangerous for me. Now this is something I'm very confident in doing. Just because of True Vision really. And that's because with this True Vision with the light tech changes that they've done, you could just YOLO about and get away with it for the most part like a lot of people seem to be able to, just seem to struggle to see you when you're unspotted and you're moving about there's quite a lot of times in this test where I've legitimately just like got unspotted and people have tried to trace me and then just given up and then gone and looked at other tanks that are spotted but the fact is those that do watch you mean that you can never get away like look I'm trying to run about here I'm still getting pegged by guys back there even though I've been on spotted for a while that's because they can track me which is why I'm going to this little ridge line over here because I won't get a shot from the guys down there and hopefully that will break their line of sight with me and make them lose me obviously I'm shooting the E4 now which means I'm getting spotted and again I'm not sitting still but the line of sight isn't great with this E4 so I'm getting unspotted all the time because that's the other thing that they've done to the spotting mechanic during True Vision and that's the line of sight mechanic thing that they've put in 
which means it takes a lot less time for you to get on spot because obviously beforehand it was 10 seconds so from the moment that line of sight or the view range of a tank lost you to your camo it was 10 seconds you were spotted for before you got unspotted well with this it's literally you get spotted and then the moment that you're out of the line of sight unspotted like that and that means that it's, it's so much better for light tanks because you can just like YOLO about and then as soon as you get beyond a ridge line BAM you're unspotted easy and it's just completely broken light tanks really to be honest and that, that's why it's so annoying and that's why I don't think that's the main reason I don't think True Vision is a good thing really but that's because to make it work for all classes for everything like I mean it's a crying shame that artillery gets killed pretty much most of the time at the start of battles when they just because they can be seen where they're sat right it doesn't even matter about moving after firing because they can fire and as soon as they fire from wherever they are if people are looking for them you've seen them straight away because there's a big cloud of smoke there's a big muzzle flash so you just know where they are and it, it's just for, very easy to take them out like you know heavy tanks if they were if they're on maps like this or anything like that there's lots of places where they've got to cover they, they can't move cover to cover they've got to go across open ground to get the spots that they want to be in and then they can get farmed at Fisherman's Bay one there's there's a big load of space that if the enemy team wants to get to town they have to go across an open space where you can farm the living crap out of them which means that, that which is why I, the, the camper hill for the northern spawn is very prevalent because people just go you know what, I'm not going to cross into town and get farmed I'm just going to go and sit on the hill and snipe which is what I've seen so many he like, super heavy tanks doing but yeah to, anyway the, the reason I think it's quite bad anyway is just because of the fact that to, you're just going to end up breaking classes to make it fit. You're probably going to have to rework the whole game. Not just maps, but classes. Bonuses, perks, equipment. There's going to be so much you have to rework for it to work, right? And then at that point, are we are we still same pl playing? The, we're not playing the same World of Tanks anymore. It's a completely different game by that point. It's not a game that you sort of known to come to love and play all the time you know but anyway the replay so far our team is just about in a better position and that's purely because they've got artillery and we've got one extra tank but it's still a little bit sketchy I get spotted there by the T100 it's like oh crap snap killed you thank you cheers RNG but I've only got five shells left and this is worrying me because the game that you saw in the other video that was today on Prokhorovka where I ran out of ammo and lost pretty much because I ran out of ammo that is playing on my mind because that game was like a game or two before this one actually I think it was the game before this one so you know it, it was a bit of a worry that I've only got three shells left now and there's four tanks you know and it's playing on my mind a little bit so I'm trying my problem is I'm not careful with my shells even at this point where I've got not much ammo I still will take a shot sometimes that is a bit dodgy that I probably shouldn't take to try and conserve the shells and I'll just fire anyway and then I'll be like oh I'm out of shells you know so we've got the M48 there of course it's heat so it hits his side gets absorbed I've got two shells left try and snap that shell into his up that's just the kind of shell I'm talking about right there like I could have aimed that a little bit better or I could have just waited and not fired at him and I'd have conserved the you know conserved the shell there but that's that's what I was talking about with my poor choice of when I fire but we've got one shell left there's artillery left and I kind of want the damage but it, I want the damage right because we're on the third mark grind but not just that I kind of want the fadens and that guy 
getting shot there, helpfully secure it, there we go, 4.5k damage, 3 kills, 10 spots, 1600 assisted, but was it 4.5k damage? No, it was 6.1, we did 1600 blind, ace tanker, fadens, scout, confederate, you can just play these light tanks so aggressively and completely get away with it and have massive games all the time you can really get away with it most of the time obviously it does depend on the map a little bit at times but for the most part you can just do ridiculous stuff so next game and that is on St San River it's one of my favourite maps in the game I do, I do always enjoy San River and we're going to come to a spot that I always go to which is this shelf and this shelf is great for like one or two shots and that's because you can get shots at these people crossing up onto the hill so obviously artillery gets spotted trying to run because it's the o this is those sand dunes over there are the only place that guy can stay covered because anywhere well the artillery can only either go to two places B1 or on the sand dunes and they're the only two places on this map that they'll stay covered. Otherwise, anyone driving to any open part of the map, say they go to like F5, they can see the artillery and they can kill it. Easy. But anyway, we got slapped by artillery on that hill. We saw so many tanks going onto the K line and into that area that we have to get out. We cannot stay in that area. There's too much that could shoot us. So we're going to this area here because this area here is also excellent because we can pretty much get shots out from here and we can see everyone on the entire map there's not there's only probably really the far corners that is too far away for us to actually get shots at people and it's out of range so this is a great spot to come to to get shots across everywhere and get damage out really so we get a nice shot into the side of that E75's turret we want to get rid of him because he's the one that is spotting us when we fire at the minute and he's gone there's a T-49 back there that we just dodge his HE shell. That was dangerous. A dangerous moment. But we get lucky there. So we shut down the T-30 there. I think we snapped to the Valor because it might be to get more damage pretty much. I mean this is, we're at 94.5 or so. No, no 94.3 I think at this point. So we're looking for that damage we get a shot into the 13105 we track him because obviously true vision being there the one thing you want to do is immobilize the light tanks get rid of them because they're just ridiculous and again the team that has less competent light tanks wit loses pretty much so that's the 95 e6 is spotted in the open we get a nice shot into his tracks hammer rack him we change our position a little bit so we can actually use our gun depression retract the t95 e6 because He's just given us his drive wheel, so it's easy enough. But again, we don't want to risk being out there too much because we were getting spotted. And again, it's spot popping up all the time. So look, artillery in the base. He's been lit up, right? Okay, shot shot him. He's, he's not safe, really, anywhere he is. Look, there he is. Unfortunately, the shell goes somewhere. But then there's a Waffle Panzer IV as well. It's like, oh, you're sat in the open. Okay, hello. Okay, thank you for the thank you for the free damage, sir. It's very kind of you. Now we've got to deal with what's behind us. This T forty nine's coming in here. It looks like he's on the attack run, right? That that's that's what that looks like. So we've loaded HEP for the moment that he comes over and we are also clearing the distance. Because I don't want to get derped by the T forty nine at this point. But there we go, he is on an attack run lock. He's he's going. You can just see the yellow run in his eyes. Get a nice shot of Hep into him for 475. Hoping to get the next one. Straight into his turret, 405, and he's dead. That's why Hep on this thing is great, because you can just wreck light tanks so quickly with it. So we're going to pop up on here, and we've got nice shots to the side of E100 now. And we can pretty much stay safe using this little position in the Ramatal and not get shot but only by those guys over there. The gun's letting us down a little bit. We are. I wasn't sure about my guaranteed action of penning the E100 to be honest with the APCR at the distance. Gun letting us down a minute ago as well on the fully aimed free shot onto the 13105, but hey. 
We've only got heat left now, and we're trying to pop shots of that E100. Again, it's risky because we're not always going to pen it. We really do need this side of his turret. I tried to pop a shot of that STB1 blind because we could see him traversing. I'm still looking for that waffle, but I can't see it. And there we go, we spot the STB1, or the STB1 gets spotted. We try and pop a shot, but again, it flies low or somewhere, generally. And the E100 farms back. So, side of his turret, fully aimed. This is what I'm talking about with the gun. 0.36 accuracy, my ass. Flies over his turret. Side of his turret again. It luckily just goes into the bottom of it, not into his tracks. And we, like I said, I've only got seven shells left. I'm trying to be careful with my shell count a little bit more. And trying to take the sort of more guaranteed shots that are going to fly into the turret like that. And we're just hoping that he keeps giving us nice shots. That goes into the top of the engine deck just above the spaced armor so that the heat can go in. And we're looking for another shot at him, but he's getting farmed. The STB1's down there as well. Artillery gets spotted. We're going to look for that shot. Unfortunately, it flies over. The Waffle Panzer IV gets spotted. It's like, okay, we'll take this shot. Randomly, he pulls forward at that exact moment, annoyingly. And we managed to shut him down with a heat round. And there's only one guy left now, that's the STRV. We've got two shots of heat left. And again, I know the chances are I could get a fadings. So, fire the one shot. It's like, okay, we're going for the fadings now. Let's do it. Plus, actually, to be honest, I wanted to jump on him. But he's not going to oblige us in that. He gets shot like that. Look, we're going to make sure we're popping over slowly but surely. Risky because he could have got shot by anyone at that point. But we shot him down. And we get 5.7k damage, 5 kills, 1300 spotting, and the Phaetons. But we ended up doing 2 shots, 3 shots, 2 or 3 shots of damage blind. We get the high caliber, first class, third mark of excellence, Phaetons medal, confederate. And it's literally just ticked it over 95.05. But probably that last shot of damage that got it for us, to be fair. And we end up with a nice game to get the third mark. But generally, that was just incredibly easy. Well, I'd, I'd, I never really felt challenged throughout that entire time. It made, yeah, it made it too easy. But yeah, that's it. That's the third block of accidents for the Ramatal Panzerwagen, the tier 10 German, t German light tank, not TD. So as always, everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.